Good morning, you absolutely beautiful people. How are you guys doing this beautiful Call of Duty morning? Welcome to the third episode of my series where I review every gun in Call of Duty Ghosts in their respective classes. Instead of a long, boring, drawn-out weapon guide, you get this. Quick note about this week, it is shotguns, and a while back when Call of Duty Ghosts first came out, I did a video about are shotguns underpowered? Uh, if you want to go see that video, click the link in the description. And in that video, I will say that I wanted for everyone to wait for the DLC in order to call the shotguns overpowered or not. Because the maps were big in, in Ghosts, as we all know. They played big, I should say. And in this DLC, I thought, good, we got small maps now. Surely shotguns should be better. Well, this week... It was not the case when I was recording for the shotguns. It was incredibly difficult to find any sort of balance in these maps. They they play a lot more medium-sized than they actually appear. So that is probably why the clips aren't as quality as they should be. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy anyway. Thank you guys so much. Let's get started. This was a tough choice, but I will have to say the MTS is the worst shotgun of them all. Now, let me preface this by saying the shotguns are pretty much consistent overall, except for the number one, but for the lower three, if you're shotgunning, you're probably going to do uh, the same with the with all of these shotguns. You're not going to do incredibly better with one shotgun over the, over the other, and you're not going to do terrible with this shotgun compared to the other ones. Uh, the real strength of this gun is its semi-automatic nature, but it's outclassed by the Bulldog, so uh, the strength is kind of weak. Uh, the weakness is, it has low range and low damage, but the semi-automatic is supposed to make up for that. But when you account for the two-hit kill range, and if you do the math, the two-hit kill with the rate of fire, it's really inconsistent and it's not very good. I benefit most from aiming down sights, as with all of the shotguns you're supposed to aim down sights apparently now. Uh, I make it a habit not to, steady aim is nice, ready up is necessary. Uh, sleight of hand, of course, is nice. Agility, marathon, whichever one you pick. I like marathon. Just the typical, like, shotgun class. We've all shotgunned before. You know, use this class, you'll do fine. It's a good shotgun. It's the worst, but it's, it's not bad uh, if you are in the shotgun mode. Let's move on to the third best shotgun. Like I said before, this was a tough call to make, but I will say that the TAC-12 is the third best shotgun, or it's the second worst. I was going to put this shotgun as the worst, but the MTS was just lack, uh, lackluster, and it wasn't good. So the TAC-12 is now third best, and, and why is that? Well, it's a little bit quirky in the sense that you really, really benefit from aiming down sights. And with that, I believe it feels like, and I feels, it feels like, um, hip fire spread is terrible on this gun. It feels terrible when you hit fire it. So aiming down sights is the best way to go about this gun. However, I will say when you aim down sights, the iron sights is about where the spread will be. So if you're not fully on them, you will miss by a long shot, and it's incredibly weird. It is opposite of what shotguns in my mind have been in Call of Duty. The run around, hip fire, uh, aiming with your hip fire reticle. This one, it's more of a, I want to say KSG from Black Ops 2, but that doesn't quite describe it um, quite well. It's really weird. It's, it's, it's a shotgun you aim down sights with. It's, I don't know, I've lost a lot of gunfights because I've hit fired and gotten hit markers, or I've aimed down sights and I've missed. It's a really weird shotgun to use, but when you use it effectively, it's pretty good. Again, not going to do terribly terrible with it. You're not going to do extra stellar with it, but it's a shotgun, and if you're in the shotgun mode, uh, maybe try quick draw, I guess I could say. Uh, ready up, quick draw, uh, maybe not steady aim. Maybe this is a shotgun you don't use steady aim on. I don't know. Uh, it was hard for me to tell exactly without going into a private match and testing it myself. But this is the shotgun. If you want to aim down sights with, use this shotgun. Now let's move on to the second best shotgun. And in 
the second best shotgun and my personal favorite shotgun, we have the FP6. This is the complete opposite of the TAC-12, what I just mentioned. This is the typical run around, use ready up, use steady aim, and just hit fire away. And it is incredibly fun. Now, I don't like the look of the shotgun, but, you know, it's just aesthetic. But this is the shotgun you want to use if you're just beginning. Or not if you're just beginning, if you are familiar with the shotgun territory. This is the first gun I decided to get gold because I thought it would be the worst. Man, was I was it, was I in for a surprise. Uh, it was the best pump-action shotgun. It's just, you know, it's the best of the pump-action shotguns. It's just like the Spaz-12, the KSG, the, the Model 1887. It only has five rounds in there, uh, reloaded one at a time, but the reload's really slow. You can top up at any time. You should be fine with that. Uh, this is the class I have most fun with. Um, I will. I don't go try hard on this class, unlike my other weapon guides, where uh, the best guns I use try hard. But with the shotguns, it's a little bit special. You have to be in the mode for it. You have to be in the mood for it. And uh, this is definitely the all-around perfect uh, shotgun, in my opinion. It's all well-rounded. And, and yeah. Now let's move on to the number one shotgun. G. Was this a surprise? <laughs> Morally, when I play this game and I see someone use this gun, I don't know about you, but I automatically assume the worst about that person. I automatically think they're a jerk. I automatically think they are uh, just pompous and, and a big scumbag. When I see someone use this gun, I think that they think that they are good because of how they're, how they're doing with this gun. When, in all honesty, this is the most overpowered gun in this game and don't tell anyone that because it is terrible as you'll see in this gameplay this is not on any of the onslaught dlc this is on strike zone i go 90 and 14 or something of the sorts i go 90 something and you know under 20. was it because i am a super awesome boss and i would have done that with any other gun absolutely not is it because the enemy team is a bunch of I don't know, Ray Charles, I, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> just a bunch of bad people playing Call of Duty, probably, that probably has a lot to do with that, I know it has a lot to do with it, but I will say that the number one reason I went 90 plus in this game is because I was using the Bull Dog, it is absolutely overpowered, now, technically, I saw this on the Drifter video a couple days ago, technically, it has the worst range of a shotgun, which I say, Hooey. It has the best range of a shotgun. The semi-automatic rate of fire is so fast, the amount of lead you can put out on target is absolutely astonishing. It's unbelievable. If you use this gun and you think, wow, I'm good, I'm using the worst class in the game and I'm doing good with it. No, you're not. You're using the most overpowered class in the game. You're using the most overpowered gun in the game. This gun beats submachine guns. This gun beats assault rifles. Maybe not at range, but you know what I mean, in, in closer quarters. In mid-range combat, this is the best shotgun. In close-range combat, this is the best shotgun. Easy follow-up shots, easy aiming, but good hit fire spread, good rate of fire. It's... how did this get past everyone? <laughs> um, it's not insanely overpowered. It's not like the MSBS. It's not like, you know, this is nitpicking at this point. Call of Duty Ghost is so balanced and so good. This is nitpicking. Um, if I were to fix it, if I were to balance it, I would say decrease the two hit kill range and decrease the one hit kill range the three hit kill range and the four and so on is pretty good at a longer range you will see that it, you kind of struggle to get the uh the lead on target and stay focused on your target so at range it works just as it should but honestly if you're gonna have a shotgun that is so fast firing the one-shot kill really should almost be non-existent. It should be point-blank range, because otherwise you're just gonna, I don't know, have the same one-hit kill range as the MTS, but twice the damage or twice the weight of, rate of fire. It, it doesn't make sense to me. So um, this is the best gun. I don't like it because, like I said, I morally have a problem with it. But um, I really want to show you guys this gameplay. I don't know how. If I'll just post it later or whatever. I don't know. But that is my list for the top uh, shotguns in the game. What is your list? This one I'm kind of curious, because with the light machine guns, I pretty much had it straight up. Uh, people like the chainsaw a little bit more than I did. Um, what about this week? This week, uh, shotguns, there's only four of them, 
but what do you think of them? What do you think? Do you like the Tac-12? Do you like the MTS? Do you like the how how stylish you are? I think that's that's what it says on the uh, description of the MTS. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until the next beautiful Call of Duty morning, I will catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day, you beautiful people.